Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to create first scenario. So first of all, we should have a user script. In this session, I'm going to show you end to end process. So first I'm going to create a user script. Then on that user script, I'm going to create a scenario. So I'm moving to virtual user generator. Here I'm going for a new script. I am selecting protocol which is HTTP HTML and giving the name scenario one script. Click on create. So here we are going to record a very simple scenario in which we will log into the application then we will go for the flight reservation and after the reservation just log out so that's my recording button i click on it and everything is set by default like browser i'm going to use it's a google chrome and the url is same click on start recording so my recording is going to be started so once the recording is started first i'm going for login so we are going to create multiple actions so first i'm creating a new action and giving the name login in this login action i'm going to record this login functionality so my username is testing and the password is also testing click on this login button so my login is recorded in this login action now i'm going to book a flight so for booking a flight i'm going to create one more action and that is book flight click on ok now i'm going to book a flight so as of now i'm just taking the default data and here we see our flight is booked now i want to go for the sign off so create new action giving the name sign off click on ok and that sign off so everything is recorded here so my scenario is recorded successfully i'm going to stop the recording that's my stop button so click on this my recording will be stopped so here we have a script scenario one script which is recorded i just want to check it is working fine here on my virtual user generators that is my replay button i click on this we are checking that the sh script should work fine here on the virtual generator side then we are going to use this script in controller so my script is replayed successfully so i'm ready to use this script in controller i'm moving to my controller so that's my controller so first of all i'm going to create a new scenario so click on this new scenario button and let me check do we get this scenario one script over here yes we are getting this scenario one script i want to use this script in my scenario so i selected the script so that's the first session in which we want to create manual scenario and we want to go for virtual user group mode so we have two different modes one mode is virtual user group mode and other is percentage mode so by default or the first we are going for the virtual user group mode in the later session we are going to cover this percentage mode click on ok so it's going to start my scenario so here my scenario window is opened and that is the group mode so it shows you are using this script script is saved on this location so if you want to change this location we can change the script from here as well 
so here by default it applied 10 users so if you want to change the users you can double click here how many users you want to apply so i am giving four users i want to apply four users then we have the option like do you want to apply all the users simultaneously or you want to do some ramp up so this time i'm taking simultaneously and you must see this graph as well so this graph will generate it on the behalf of the setting we are doing over here so i'm saying four user simultaneously i click on ok so here we can see it shows now you are applying four users at the start simultaneously means when we execute our script four users are going to hit server so how long you want to execute your script by default it's five minute i can change it again the changes will reflect on this graph so i'm changing it for two minutes click on ok so here we can see it shows like zero to two and how do you stop your users so i'm saying like stop all users simultaneously means all the users will be stopped immediately once the two minute will be completed so these are the three settings three basic settings like how many users you want to apply on this scenario so i set four how do you apply it so i set simultaneously how long you want to execute this script so i set two minutes and the stop users so again simultaneously if you want to change these details you can even click on the graph and here you can also change so if you want to change i want to execute for the three minutes so you can change it to three here now it's set to the three and the same value will be reflected over here as well so in the same way like if you want to go for stop v users double click on this how do you want to stop so as of now we set simultaneously we can change it over here so everything is done on the first scenario that we have created and i'm going to execute this so i'm clicking on start scenario and here we can see all the four users are going to my application at the same time so these are the different status of user we are going to understand all these status in a later part of the controller videos we have by default few monitoring graphs so it's showing like currently we have four users they are giving like six hits per second and we have the response time graph so we have the different graphs i hope you remember we have created some transactions so these are the transactions which showing like how many transactions are passed and how many are failed so we are going to understand all these values in coming few sessions so as we told like it's going to execute for three minutes so it's going to execute for three minutes and these are the monitoring graph hope you remember we have gone through the controller work so there we have seen like we can monitor server response so here we are monitoring the response at the real time later on we are going to generate graph but as of now we are monitoring that and if you want to check these past transaction details you can click on this and it shows like we have these many of transactions hope you remember like each action behave as a transaction so it's showing like these are the actions and these are the each action will behave as a transaction as of now no field and no stoppage so this script is going to execute for three minutes as we have said so it's already 2.03 second has been passed so it's going to execute for one more minute so these are the graph which are coming by default if you want to see any graph so only one graph you can click on that and we are going to get bit larger graph and if we double click on that again again we are going to get four graphs so these are all the available graphs we are going to understand few graphs in monitoring session so these are all available graphs which we can set over here 
total transactions are this and if we got any failed transaction we can click on this so we are going to get the failed transaction but as of now nothing is failed no error is coming so as of now everything is fine once three minutes are completed it's exiting my all users so it's removing all the users from the script so once the status will be stopped means everything is done so my script is executed successfully so it's exiting my users gradually exiting means if the user is performing any transaction so let it complete we are going to understand all these options but as of now we are just getting basic introduction like gradually exiting means it is if the user is performing any transaction so let it complete the transaction and then and then come out so like if user is booking a flight so let it complete booking flight and then come out so once it is done all the users are stopped means my scenario is executed successfully now we have different graphs we can monitor these graphs so that we are going to cover in monitoring graph session one important thing that we need to understand like transaction response time graph so here i double click on this so we have the different transactions hope you remember we have created login action book flight and sign off so these each action behave as a transaction so here we can see login is taking max 35.16 seconds for four users minimum is this average standard deviation and last user so we can find out the time taken by each and every transaction means as of now we have each action as a transaction so time taken by each action or the transaction displayed over here we have applied four users so as of now this execution took place for four users we are on the run tab so if you want to make any changes in the scenario and you want to execute it again you can go to the design tab whatever the changes you want to done so i'm changing it like i want to execute for 10 users and this time i want to execute only for the two minutes so i'm giving just two minutes click on ok that's my run button so as we click on the run button i'll switch to the run tab so run and now 10 users are hitting my server so that's my transaction response time we can double click on this so these are the all graphs we are having and 10 users are hitting my server so again like total are 10 users 22 seconds already took place how many hits are going to the server so that is five hits per second so it's a real-time figure past transaction if we get any failure or error we are going to get over here so that's my 10 user which is hitting and again all the graphs are generating so it this graph is also showing like these are the 10 users which are working as of now on my application that's the, that's the transaction response time so and we have few more graphs so as we said it should execute for two minutes then come out from the scenario so it is it has executed around 70 seconds so let it complete it will take some time so we should you know while doing performances we should keep patience because it's going to take some time to complete the scenario so two minutes are done so we can check all the users came to the gradually exiting means my user coming out from the application and so as i told you like gradually exiting means they are completing the current transaction and once the current transaction will be ended it will come out from here we have the option like as of now it's going to the gradually exiting but if you want to stop all the user immediately we have the option for that as well we are going to cover that in a coming session so
so that's you know you can also check like hits per second are re decreasing because now almost all the users are completed their tasks so here we can see stopped all the users are stopped average hits per second was 2.03 and passed transaction 100% so all the transactions are passed so we do not have any failed transaction or error so that's the first scenario which we have created and that is called manual scenario because we are applying users in numbers like here we are applying 10 users so that's the manual scenario with the group user we use a group mode means we are applying the users in numbers like i'm applying 10 users in percentage mode we are going to apply like total 100 percent users are there how many users you want to apply on a particular script so we are going to cover the percentage mode later to understand the group mode and percentage mode we should have more than one script in the scenario so we are going to cover manual scenario with group mode and percentage mode in the in a future scenarios so that's all we have for this controller scenario one thanks for watching this video